for your grace, we thank you for your mercy that you have for us all over. We commit our dear listeners, our dear followers and fans all over the globe, their nations and their leaders into your hands. There is nothing bigger that is happening in their nation that you have no control over. We worship you. We give you praise for their lives. Every situations, every activities that is ungodly, that is happening in their nations. Your blood is more spacious. Your name is more higher. Righteousness, the 
that same anointing you place upon him, that same spirit is here with us. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. This session is open. Our faithful listeners, we are moving slow but sure as we are on 100 sorry 30 31 number 31 of power of beliefs and faith and in the year 2024 we are still going with it because it is important and it is very timely for us in this session. None of us rejects power. We needed it and we needed belief as well as we needed faith. So by the grace of God, we are dealing with this first session of the year 2024. We started with Exodus. And it is going simultaneously with Holy Ghost Hour main, which is deliverance and baptism. When I sat down with the Holy Spirit to expand, to give me a deeper revelation, why both of these are at the same and by the same author, within my answer dropped by him, I fall in love with it and I begin to understand that the creator Yahweh, our father, his love for humanity is unlimited. He loves what he created and he's patient for human beings is forever. He loves human being. He has all his power. He has all his might to finish this war in a second with all the wickedness, with all the hypocrisy, with all the deceitfulness of man's heart. Man see God as God, you are no important. My desire is more important than you. People doesn't care about God anymore. They forgot where God took them. They just feel that it's their wisdom, it's their knowledge that is making them Every day they are buying into the lies of Satan. Every day they took Satan bigger than God. They fear Satan. People fear Satan more than God. They welcome Satan. The activities of Satan has cut off, has cut off humanity with God. Today people don't even care about what is about God. Today, the pleasures, the materials in the world today, people are more caring about it than God. But in the midst of it all, his patience, his love, his kind, his tears endures forever. The more the reason He is still calling men and women to preach his kindness, his love, his forgiveness.
forgiveness to people that are out there. And he's still reminding us about his story. That the same God with love, with discipline, with compassion of the old is the same today. Nothing changed about him. That is why we are still reading his story. The best history book that you should read in your life daily is the Holy Bible. Everything that is out there was born out of the Holy Bible. You choose to do good was in the Bible. You choose to see God as a wicked was in the Bible. You choose to be a self-centered and a wicked and greed is in the Bible. So everything that is plain in the world today was born out of the Holy Bible. It's up to you how you apply it on you and it will set you free. So my dear saints, you can see how this session is very important. In the book of Exodus 15, it's more about praise. It's more about thanksgiving. It's more about dancing for God. It's more about celebrating His kindness and His mercy and His love. As you see the display, those are just a few selected that are famous verses in the Exodus. So in this Exodus again, we have five mega themes that you're going to hear coming from this platform. Number one is slavery. Slavery is not a good thing. Satan changed the destiny of human being. Satan is a servant for human being. But he changed, he created now himself that he is the boss. And he created us to see God that he is wicked. And instead of him serving us now as a human being, we are serving him. So that is why in the Bible, slavery is very important that you should break yourself from it. Number two is what we call rescue or redemptions. Jesus came to rescue us from the hands of Satan, to deliver us from the hands of the liar, this wicked world. And number three, he didn't just deliver us, we're going to hear about guidance. You can't say you have delivered people he didn't show them guidance that they will not go back to their vomit. And in the guidance, it came about number four, which is the commandment, the tools, the do's and the don'ts. And number five is the nations. Every nation here on planet Earth, they are all important to God. It doesn't mean that he took one nation that is embedded in this Holy Bible that your nation is not important. He's for example purpose and your nations, your people, your children should learn about the history because when you are teaching somebody about who God is you should not just limit it, limit God on the spiritual aspect 
you have to show practicality. You have to show example because man believe in what we see and what we hear. So when you point your children, when you point people that did you see that nation that is called Israel, God chose them as an example that he will discipline them, he will show his love, he will show his mercy, he will show his forgiveness that other nations should learn from them and look God that he has control over everything. That is why I am always saying here, be careful how you connected your faith to Paul Luna Baker. Do not connect your trust, your faith, your belief in me without allowing God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. What if tomorrow I allow arrogance, pride, sin, I have no respect for God. And I began to act as if I have God in my pocket. As if whatever I command God, He does. So if I begin to change, discrediting God to you as if God is biased, if you are not careful, you too will go down with me. You will go down with me drastically. So example, human being, it is good for us to stay and project and see ourselves that God didn't choose us just because we are beautiful, we are handsome, and we are this. He chose us that others will learn from us and we should be careful how we present that is why in the Old Testament, Jesus didn't care about building. Your cathedral you build, your mansion you build, is not important to God. It's the human being. He said, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit or the temple of God? So it's you. The gospel all is not about the instrument that is in front of me. Me as an individual is me. That if my life is biased, if my life is not in the proper position, the gospel is crooked. If only I could stop, I think I have preached. So let us read the word of God and we move forward. Sweet Holy Spirit, this is your moment. This is your time. Yamabla, give our woman, give send her over your way, and go home and go over. A bonyama, Musa Bwangoma, Uri, Unde, Hagi Bademe. For time in Jimmy, I won't go on Yangi, a particular Sunday, Gonyale or Sunday, ma. So I said, Wangoma, a vangama, a conneving word, Yava, Yanje, Yanke, Yanya, and Yalinga, no beva, a mool on Angola. Now, Ama, come, you can hear in Swahili Exodus chapter fifteen, verse four. To six. When I say Sophia, then Dr. Soma Kitabucha Kutoka, Melanco Kuminatano, Mr. Ronin named Paka Sita. And in our Buana in a semi Magari a Farao. Na jeshi lake amewatupa baharini. Maakida yake wateule wamezama katika bahari ya shamu. Vilindi 
vimewafunikiza walizama vilindini kama jiwe Bwana mkono wako wa kuume umepata fahari ya uwezo Bwana mkono wako wa kuume wa waseta seta adui amen amen thank you the english version now i will take it from the last verse we stopped last sunday verse 3 and to verse 6 for today exodus chapter 15 verse 3 the lord is a warrior yahweh is his name or in bracket god is his name personalize it to your nation personalize it to your language the way you feel comfortable to call God verse 4 Pharaoh's child and army he has hauled into the sea the finest of Pharaoh's officials adwand in the See, verse 5, the deep waters gushed over them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Verse 6, your right hand, O Lord, is gracious in power. Your right hand O oh Lord smashes the enemy. The end of the reading. His love, his mercy are renewed every day. Songs, praises, My dear wonderful people music played was an important part in the life of example nation that God used which is called Israel. They worship and celebrate with singing, dancing. But today, religious has made us look guilty. Some pervert some wicked, some carnal, some wolf, like they are sheep, are discrediting, dancing, singing, worshipping for God. My dear saint, my dear beloved, Your holiness all day is not enough for God. The Bible called Lucifer the deceiver was the chief praiser. He was a worshiper. He was a worship leader. He knows how to dance and sing for God. That was his administration. He was a self. That, that is why most disappointing situation today. Most unfamous singer for secular, for the worldly, people that are singing for Satan, they are singing lustful, they 
their background was they were choristers. What that means, they were singing worship, kingdom song. They were singing people are blessed. But Satan perverts, Satan twisted it. That no, if you sing for God, you will never get rich. Oh, Shantari, he back, Shantari, Amma. And say, when you sing, can you just imagine how Satan is so wicked and biased? My heart bleed. Today, human beings have allowed Satan is telling them, he's controlling them, he is bringing them with them in the lake of fire, slow by slow. And most people that you saw that left the career singing for God and they went for shortcut, most of them, their lives is not an example. Society doesn't even want to associate with them. Satan has used them. Satan has done them. Their career, their destiny is done. But people are not still learning. I don't know what you have allowed Satan is stealing from you every day. Today when you talk, when you told somebody, give your time to God. They got angry at you. Oh, they love Satan activities. They allow Satan has enslaved them. So singing and celebration was part of Israel traditions. They create, and according to research, this was the oldest song on planet Earth that was sung under the administration, under the leadership of Moses. So singing, praising, dancing, playing the instrument for God is a medicine. The Bible tells me that King Saul was going through evil spirit that God released to come upon him because he replaced God. Shantori Yama. My dear people, Satan is not a friend of human being. Be careful when you allow Satan to enslave you. It's out of experience. The Bible said, the Holy Spirit, when he comes, he opens your eyes of all what Satan's strategy, his agenda is for your life. And he will tell you A, B, C, did you see how Satan has tried to kill, to, to finish you on earth? But I have come to restore you, to help you. But in the midst of that, people are still seeing Satan that is powerful. My dear saint, my dear beloved, what God has called me into, there is nothing that is bigger in my eyes that this world, this society will put in front of me that I will say, God, go away. What Satan didn't give it to you? Why you are serving him wholeheartedly? Do you think now you are serving God? He has already know you, that you are an instrument that God is going to use to destroy my kingdom and you go back. The Bible says when one demon is come out of a human being, it says seven wicked ones are standing out there waiting for your one arrow. It says when they come, it says your 
your, your situations will be worse than the way you were before. Because it is dangerous and it is... When Satan... Satan doesn't know human being all the way. Let me tell you this now. I am giving you out of experience. All what Satan sees is your flesh. He sees your flesh because this, the judgment that God placed upon him, he said, dust you shall eat. So he sees your flesh. That is why if Jesus himself went through flesh torturing, Satan bite him. Satan tried to put fear in him. He said, my father, if only it is possible, take this suffering away from me. But not your will, but at least your will. Because when Satan expands things to you, the flesh, he is eating you. My dear saints, a sinner once only knows how to deliver you from his sin. That's why check your history. Check your Bible. Read it. The greatest deliverers that God used they were not righteous people. They were all question mark. But God change their situations and use them as an example that you should learn. Take everything away from me and live my life with me and God. Because serving God is rewarding. Because Satan is making this situations as if you are wasting your time about this God, Shantori Abba. When you open, that's why I said, when I sat again, I said, Holy Ghost, I want you to open my eyes really why again I'm reading Exodus 15 and Deuteronomy 8. I began to understand that not suffering that a child of God is going through that Satan has hand in it. But Satan will come and amplify it to you and put hate in you just to distract you. My dear saint, there is nothing that is happening to me today that God didn't tell me 2005. And when he finished it, he said, the help, the Holy Spirit will help you overcome it. When they come heavier, I cry, I complain, but he helped me. That is the work of Jesus. As I'm about to round up, law is not exempted. Any law, for example, that is in the country, and they say, I am above the law. On they make a law. But there are some people that this law is not for them. It is not a law. Any law that is, they say, okay. For instance, this law is only going to fight black people. But when you are white, this law will never fight you. It's not a law. Is Satan's agenda and Satan's wickedness. Now let me bring the answer to it. When the judgment of God, that is why let me put the display again for this year. Man, Adam, where are you? He said, I heard your full step and I heard he said, because I was naked. He said, who told you that you were naked? He said, have you done what I told you not to? Now I bring back. When God put judgment between Adam, his wife Eve, and Satan, 
no exemptions was done. God didn't say, okay, you, this will be this. No. They all are going through according to what God said. He said, you man, you will suffer and bring food on your table. He said, you woman, out of labor, you will suffer. And Satan, dust you shall eat through. And Satan will fight your seed. He said, but your seed we overcome. Now the answer. Because God law that the first judge of all judges, the first lawmaker of all laws, when he came in the form of man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God didn't look for the richest and the wealthy people that he didn't even put Jesus in the king palace. He has all the right, but that will discredit God. He looked for the impossibility. The suffering that God said in labor, you should suffer. So the suffering, all that women went through in labor, fall on a virgin girl. According to Science. When a woman is pregnant, there should be continuous intercourse because that helped the baby to come out. But Joseph never tamper with her wife on the back. So, do you know the suffering? Do you know the pain? Do you know the gravity? That a Virgin Mary went through to give back one suffered. No doctor was there. Just between her. No experience was in Joseph. And the ships. But she gave back. She suffered. She went through. God didn't say, Mary, your own case is going to different. So if God allow his judgment, his law that is made was not exempted. So why today men are putting law? They are making exemptions. They put law. But this law is only for Africa. Only Africa people. Only African nations. It's a bias and crooked situations. I have studied, I have learned, I have understood. Only in Africa, people, the continent of Africa, we hand over their heroes, their leaders, into the hands of law that was made, but is exempted to the Western powers. For example, purpose, when you look at about the ICC, is exempted to some western war. They are not part of it. But Africa leaders we hand over their leaders. Go torture them. Go to them. But the great nations, they say no. We are exempted. When something happens, bring them. We will handle them according to our law. According to our Land, law, the great America. You can never try their citizens in your own country. Bring them here. Our law is more important than not every other law. The time has come, the hour has come that your law of any nation should be respected. If your law in your nation is not respected, you have a question mark. If your judiciary, the lawmakers, the lawyers, the barristers in your country are not able to handle your law, you are questionable. The time has come that God law, and when Jesus came, God came in the form of man. 
no exemptions as I'm rounding up. Jesus went through all. Oh, you saw the judgment. God didn't say, Jesus, you are going to. The Bible said when Jesus' agony was so heavy, he cried. He said, my father, my father. He said, why have you forsaken me? Because God's law should be handled with fear, with dignity, with respect. He said, Jesus, this law, you have to endure. You have to finish it. You have to go through it. And he gave his ghost and died. And he completed his mission and victory, resurrections, deliverance came. That when you accept him, you are able to overcome all the trials. So Moses has all the right, Moses has all the power to tell his followers. He said, we need to praise God. We need to worship him. If he judged our enemy, he defeated them for us. The Bible says, Pharaoh's finest and luxurious those days, I would say, his ballistic, his war tank, his everything. God ran everything in the eyes of non-trained people. So God should be respected. But today people have put God in a box. Oh God, you know, you let Satan take control over our affairs. There are some of you tomorrow because Satan imitates what is happening in the kingdom of God. Just Jesus said, I know you not. Get you behind me, you workers of iniquity. There are some of you. Satan is going to deny you tomorrow. He said, no. I didn't tell you to do so. You chose that way. When he went to the garden of Eden, he just Give away to Mama Eve. He said, the really God says, and Mama Eve begin to expand, begin to open, begin not to explain. He said, he is hiding things from you. And he went. The Bible didn't tell that Satan told Eve, do this, do that, do that, do that. But Eve already took the lies of Satan and ran to the horseman. He said, if my husband, what you told me about your God is very way, I have got the answer. I have got, I have got the advice. I have got the teachings. Satan has already told us, let us apply it. And that is why the Bible said, Adam didn't sin, his wife sinned it. But Adam welcomed the idea. How many? advices, how many ideas, how many perversions continent of Africa we have allowed ourselves to be discredited. We are shouting that we are being discredited. We have a saying in my country. They say it in one of the languages in Creole. They say you will make you devil. Now you didn't make the respect her. But if you will make a devil, you know respect her. Nobody know the respect her. So in the case, if you have made a masquerade, you have created your masquerade, you took your time to create that masquerade, and it is right at the stage, and you make you came there and started making ridicule of your masquerade that you created. Do you think your spectators, your fans? We respect your masquerade. No way. For too long, the continent of Africa, our leaders, our wicked leaders, has made that continent to look like a 
laughing stop people making mock of rain because if you don't you saw we are sovereign in nations do you know what it talks that a sovereign in nations you take care of your affairs and others will respect you and value you there are so many embassies ambassadors in this United States of America how many of them that have involved in the affairs of the United States of America who dare you the time has come some of us will not keep quiet respect should be given to each that's why nations as I go again slavery rescue and redemptions guidance the ten commandments and the nations this year a deliverance a resurrection should be in your nations as I round up and leave it for another time. I say happy birthday to myself. The end of this nation, this message. Prepare yourself for an altar call. If God is calling you, prepare as you come forward. Amen.
Sweet Yahweh, sweet Jesus, sweet Holy Ghost, your people are out there. Fill them now with your anointing. Receive the anointing of Yahweh now. Gentle Holy Spirit, come upon me, receive the Holy Ghost. Oh. Thank you. 
looking for chains, deliverance has taken place in the life of people that you created. Their stories have changed. That crookedness has been broken. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for this moment. We seal this session. We seal this moment. We seal this prayer. Thank you.